Well, hello. Welcome to our next episode in the art of jamming. What you see here is some strawberry jam. What it was, was I was in the marketplace. <clears throat> Real Canadian, actually. And they had some California strawberries on for half price. So instead of a buck ninety-nine a pound, because they're in season now. In California. They were like 99 cents ripe, ready to be eaten. That was on a Saturday, but by the time I got around to eating them, it was a Tuesday. So I had to call them out. Half of them I hadn't put in a pot. So, you know, I put in a couple of cups of California strawberries, some sugar. Boil them up a bit. And I thought, you know, I really don't want to waste the juice on these. Because I could boil off all the water. And make a real strawberry jam. But I kind of cheated. I added a little bit of surdal. You know, just to extend the, uh, the jam. And even extended, it's better than anything you can buy. I mean... Maybe Gold Valley comes close, but it's what, seven, eight bucks a jar <coughs> for the big jar. <coughs> and it, <coughs> that's that you. So anyway, yeah, we got some competition but it's really good and uh, it was the only one that I kind of gave the okay to be jarred and I said well you know put it in a small jar so that it doesn't go bad because we don't have room in the refrigerator for refrigerator jam so I do the salt on the top and the salt on the lid eat it within six months, fill it right up. But uh, to be honest, let me show you. This is just one of many because we had all kinds of other stuff. That's what's left of it. You see that? Not very much. Now in this jar, this is the raspberry jam. Now this was a whole whack of frozen raspberries. And uh, what's interesting about this jam is I didn't use the surdo and I used the, you know, a bit of sugar. But you can see it's all wet on the top. So it never did really fully candy eyes. But uh, man, does it taste good. It's what I call a preserve, raspberry preserve, not a jam. It's not really at the, the jam state. So you're just basically boiling up the fruit with a bit of sugar and taking out the water out of the fruit. So that's really good, let me tell you. It's 100%. Very raspberry taste. What? Hold on, hold on. Just wait a second. Now this is uh, this is the mango. Yeah, mango jam. The problem with this was it was put in a roasting pan, which probably wasn't the best pan to cook down jam in. I don't know why someone would put mango in a roasting pan convenience you know it's got the ridges on the bottom and I left it on one and it burnt and so uh, the caramelized part on top I tried not to stir it too much I brought that to the top mixed it all in it was really quite jammy but it's quite bland and I added a bit of ginger and uh, gingerbread spice and it never really got completed so I don't know I know because I tasted it 
I know that it's not very good bland and you know it might as well have been made of squash as of mangoes but you know I might end up putting that back in the pot and adding some gingerbread spice or something so that's the three jams we've been working on and then you go well I can just go to the store I can buy my own jam but you know it's about 20 cents worth of sugar when you think that 10 pounds of sugar is what five six bucks on sale and the fruit you get a half price rotten bring your rotten fruit home add some sugar and make some jam be the best stuff you ever eat. okay well that's the art of jamming series and uh, good luck